A couple of months ago, I made a video about using BERT to understand natural language. It was my purpose already at that time to make BERT work for Finnish language as well. And in this video, I will show you how it can be done for SAS via. If you are looking for an introduction video to the basics of BERT, I recommend you check first the video from the link in the description. For this video, I found a suitable dataset made for sentiment classification and achieved good accuracy with it. The dataset is called Scan Descent and you can find a link below to download it as well. The same process I'm about to show you can be used with pretty much any text or language to perform classification. All you need is the training data and it helps if you can use a pre-trained model from Hugging Face as a starting point. In this case, I used Turku NLP pre-trained model from Hugging Face, which has a 50,000 word piece vocabulary and it has been trained for 1 million steps over 3 billion tokens on Finnish text drawn from news, online discussions and internet crawls. Let's take a look at how the sentiment classification can be done in practice. So first of all, of course, we need to import some packages and, and set some variables. And the ones I want to highlight are, of course, the transformers package, uh, the dlpy package and the swat package that are needed in this case. Next, we set the cache directory where we want to download the, the pre-trained model from Hugging Face. And after that, we set up the connection to our VIA server. After the setup, we are ready to define the model and, and load the data and the weights. And we have two classes in this case, so positive and negative sentiment. We set up the number of encoder layers and download the pre-trained model from, uh, from Hugging Face. So in, in my case, I'm using the Turku NLP model. We instantiate the model and by that we are creating the embedding table. After that, I'm ready to um, read in the data from a CSV file. So I'm using the scan descent uh, data that I found. So that contains, contains uh, also Finnish text and I will have an example here. So you can see a different type of um, uh, product reviews and whether the review is negative or positive. So negatives are a zero and positives are a one. And this step 19 is not really needed as the targets are already numeric. And after that we can split the data to a training and, and testing sets and, and tokenize it. So this one, one step does that for us. Uh, so here we define the training and, and validation sets and after that we are able to tokenize the data and here we see uh, how many observations we have in the in the training set and how many observations we have in the test uh, or validation set and we are able to display also the observations after after the tokenization and it, it looks quite good after that just compile and load the weights and we have the model ready to go and as you see, it's the BERT is quite a deep model. Now we are ready for training and just setting the optimizer parameters and, and uh, fit parameters. And we are able to start training. Uh, in this case, I will do only one epoch, of course, if, if uh, you are doing this for, uh, for real. Um, I would recommend more, more epochs, but for this demo, I, I just chose one, one epoch. And that takes a while to train, and after that, uh, so it's total total time uh, around six thousand seconds, but that's that's quite okay. And and in this case, I'm I'm just using CPUs to train train the model. You could al also use GPUs if you have those those available. The fit error looks looks quite good. Uh, so the next step would be to uh, score the observations in the validation set. And after that, we see that the misclassification error in, in the validation set is only 8%, which is decent uh, compared to the fact that we only trained for, for one epoch. 
And we can now look also the examples from the from the scored validation set. So here you see some some examples. At least these ones are all uh, correctly cl classified. So here you see that so this, for example, this negative review uh, has been correctly classified as as negative. And uh, for example, here uh, where the review is positive, it has been correctly predicted as positive. Training uh, and using using the model is quite straightforward. If if you have a have a starting point point uh, from from the hugging face model, so you get quite good results pretty fast. So that's it. Uh, I hope you are able to try it yourself. So happy training.